Good day, ladies and gentlemen. We hope you all doing well today and we utilize to discuss the sports ecological skills as a predictor of team performance of varsity players. I am Abdul Hachim Tambuang together with my co-researchers, Gwendolyn Nangka and Kevin Kalmataas. And we are excited to share with you our research topic. So without further ado, let's board this train and explore. Every varsity player faces discrimination and equal treatment in sports. Players face difficulties in enhancing their performances due to lack of understanding of sports psychology. Among the determinant factors to team per sports performances where a coach can reflect the hostile environment on the team, poor team relations and lack of support and financial worries. Globally, around 70, 76% of the players expected to obtain psychological training services, indicating a high need for sports psychology expert this among players. In the Philippines, Filipino athletes have additionally hurdles that have nothing to do with competi competitiveness. Most of it's due to a need of for more leadership, direction, and even competency from their national sports con coordinators. Locally during the Davao Region Athletic Association, meet in Tagum City, players had poor performances due to lack of current training for coaches and athletes, a lack of funding and lack of facilities and equipment and lack of specialization. This study was anchored on the Hader attribution theory in 1958, a concept used in sports psychology that serves as the foundation for this study. Supported by the Social Network Theory 2017, which emphasizes team members' interactional process among and within teams as a main focus of performance research support this study. This study is important to address the research gap and provide evidence about the influence of sports psychological skills on the team performance of varsity players. Based on the reading and research shows that team players who engage in more sports psychological skills can contribute to team effectiveness and improvement team performances. To continue, our research objective is to describe the level of sports psychological skills among varsity players in UMTC in terms of achievement motivation, goal settings, anxiety control, maintaining confidence, concentration, and mental rehearsal. And the second, to determine the level of team performance among varsity players in UMTC in terms of effort investment, skills execution, and perceived outcome. And the third, to assist if there is a significant relationship between sports psychological skills and team performance among varsity players in UMTC. And lastly, to determine if there is our domain independent, independent variable significantly predicted. And for the methods, our research design utilized quantitative research employing the descriptive correlation method. The respondents of this study were the team varsity players of UMTC in all year levels aged 18 to 24 years old who had been with the varsity for at least three months. Two research instruments were used in this study to measure sports psychological skills and team performance. Random sampling was employed in the selection of the respondents. There were 100 total respondents, 20 from basketball men, 10 from basketball women, 12 from volleyball women, 10 from volleyball men, 20 for Sipak Takraw men, 7 from baseball men, 11 from football men, and 10 from softball women. The procedure performed in collecting the data was also discussed in detail in the following section. First, the letter of request to conduct the study was submitted to the Office of the Sports Coordinator for approval. The questionnaires were administered to the varsity players of UMTC and were answered within 20 to 30 minutes. The administered questionnaire was retrieved right after they had answered the questionnaire. Lastly, collecting and subjecting the data to statistical analysis. 
The responses to the items of the questionnaires by the varsity players were accurately tallied and carded correspondingly and with confidentiality. Moving on to the result and discussion. Presented in Table 1 is the level of sports psychological skills of varsity players, which answered the study first objective and was interpreted based on the obtained rating per indicators. Achievement motivation ranked the highest mean of 4.62, the standard division of 0 0.417 with a very high descriptive rating. This means that the respondents have mostly manifested their skills in sports and experience of team performance. Athletes can manage sports well or to a high extent. Goal setting, a second indicator, had a mean of 4.40 with a standard division of 0 0.434 with a very high descriptive rating. Followed by anxiety control, had a mean of 4.44, standard division of 0 0.500, with a very high descriptive rating. Maintaining confidence as fourth indicator had a mean of 4.43, standard division of 0 0.482, with a very high descriptive rating. Concentration as fifth indicator had a mean of 4.34, Standard division of 0 0.523 with a very high descriptive rating. Lastly, mental rehearsal had a mean of 4.38, standard division of 0 0.544 with a very high descriptive rating. Generally, sports psychological skills garnered an overall mean of 4.44 and overall standard division of 0 0.362 with a descriptive rating of very high. The result implies that the varsity players have mostly manifested their skills in sport. It indicates that the athletes can manage sports well or to a high extent. Presented in Table 2 is the level of team performance of varsity player, which answer the second objective of this study. The findings of this study showed that team performance in terms of effort investment Rank most with a mean of 4.63, standard division of 0 0.439 with a very high descriptive level, followed by skills execution with a mean of 4.48, standard division of 0 0.481 with a very high descriptive level. Received outcome rank third with a mean of 4.37, standard division of 0 0.528 with a very high descriptive level. Generally, team performance garnered an overall total mean of 4.49, an overall standard division of 0 0.393 with a very high descriptive level. Exposed in Table 3 is the correlation between sports psychological skills and team performance. It could be foreseen in the findings that there was a significant relationship between sports psychological skills and team performance with a p-value of 0 0.001 which is less than the 0.05 level of significance and correlation coefficient of 0.611. Hence, the null hypothesis was hereby rejected which stated that there was a significant relationship between sports psychological skills and team performance among the varsity players in UMTC. The result implies that sports psychological skills would serve as important factors that affect team performance. The Table 4 present the result of regression analysis conducted to examine the relationship between sports psychological skills and team performance of varsity players. The indicators included in the analysis are achievement motivation, goal setting, anxiety control, maintaining confidence, concentration, and mental rehearsal. Achievement motivation has a coefficient value of 0 0.19 and a corresponding p-value of 0 0.042 which is less than the predetermined significance level of 0 0.05, indicating that the higher levels of achievement motivation are associated with better team performance. The second indicator, which is goal setting, has a coefficient value of 0 0.09 and a corresponding p-value of 0 0.395, which is greater than the 0 0.05 level of significance. This means that the goal setting may not be a strong predictor of team performance in this context. The third indicator, which is anxiety control, 
has a coefficient value of negative 0 0.101 and a corresponding p-value of 0 0.345 which is greater than the 0 0.05 level of significance, indicating that anxiety control may not directly influence team performance. The fourth indicator which is maintaining confidence has a coefficient value of 0 0.261 and a corresponding p-value of 0 0.018 which is less than the 0.05 level of significance, indicating that the higher levels of confidence are associated with better team performance. The fifth indicator, which is concentration, has a coefficient value of 0.105 and a corresponding p-value of 0.363, which is greater than the 0.05 level of significance. Suggesting that concentration may not be a strong predictor of team performance. The last indicator, which is mental rehearsal, has a coefficient value of 0 0.283 and a corresponding p value of 0 0.010, which is greater than the significance level of 0 0.05, indicating that mental rehearsal may not directly influence team performance. The results indicates that the achievement motivation and maintaining confidence has significant positive effect on team performance. As evidenced by their significance under standardized coefficient and standardized coefficient or the beta. On the other hand, goal setting, anxiety control, concentration, and mental rehearsal do not show significant effects on team performance. The overall model fit statistics are also provided. The coefficient of determination of 0.421 indicates that the sports psychological skills included in the analysis explain approximately 42.1% of the variance in team performance. The F value tests the overall significance of the model and is associated p-value of 0.001 suggests that the model as a whole is statistically significant. To conclude, the level of sports psychological skills among varsity players in UMTC was very high in terms of achievement motivation, goal setting, anxiety control, maintaining confidence, concentration, and mental health. Besides, the level of team performance among varsity players at UMTC was very high in terms of effort investment, skills execution, and perceived outcome. As a result, achievement motivation and maintaining confidence predicted team performance, while the other indicators did not positively affect team performance. Therefore, the researcher came to the conclusion that there was a significant relationship between sports psychological skills and team performance among varsity players at UMTC, and there are domains in independent variables that are significantly projected. Based on the finding and conclusion of this study, the researchers proposed recommendations that may help athletes, sports coordinators, coaches, and future researchers. Firstly, Athletes ought to set clear and challenging goals. Secondly, sports coordinators may consider gathering data, information that may help them monitor coaches' duties in monitoring athletes' psychological skills. Third, coaches should identify the psychological skills, particularly in athletes' mental rehearsal and achievement motivation. Lastly, Future researchers may conduct similar studies to determine and understand athletes' differences in using their psychological skills in any situation. Here are the references cited in our study. And for the end part of our group presentation, thank you so much for listening and we highly appreciated your attention to our presentation entitled Sports Psychological Skills as a Predictor of Team Performance of Varsity Players. Thank you once again. Good day.